Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to RNG abuse your trainer ID in Pokemon Colosseum. This is not XD, there's a completely different video for Pokemon XD, so if you're looking for that, go check that out. Um, there are a few requirements before you actually get started, and these are all of the applications you'll need in order to actually do the RNG. You're going to need Pokefinder by Admiral Fish. You're also going to need Eon Timer, or your timer of choice. Um the standard Gen 3 target frame type of timer. You're going to need Co-Tool by Cena Poke, and uh, for Pokefinder as well, you're going to need to make sure you have a uh, colo.precalc file uh, in the same folder as your uh, Pokefinder executable. Uh, if you don't actually have a colo.precalc, when you go to find your initial seed, Pokefinder prompts you to download it, so there is no worry there. Okay, so once you've got all the setup done, we're going to actually look for a spread that we want. Now, what I'm going to be doing in this video is making a specific Pokemon spread shiny. If you're not interested in that and you're just interested in custom IDs, you may skip ahead to the timestamp uh, in the video now. So with that out of the way, in Pokefinder, click the GameCube tab, and you're going to click the Searcher tab. Then in the Filter section, you're going to fill out whatever uh, requirements you want for your spread to be shiny. So in my example, I'm going to be aiming for a perfect adamant spread, but you can fill out anything and hit search. So these are all of the perfect adamant spreads that exist in Pokemon Coliseum. So once we've got these generated, we can move on to finding our initial seed. Okay, before we actually do the RNG on Kalo, what we're going to do is find our initial seed. And we do that by opening Pokefinder, clicking Gen 3 Tools, and clicking GameCube Seed Finder, then going over to the Kalo tab. down here. So what you're going to want to do is boot up the game and go to the battle now option. You don't have to worry about being quick or anything here. So we click battle now and we click single battle and ultimate. So then we input Wes Metagross and we're just going to input the pattern here of the trainers and their first Pokemon. So Seth Raikou several times until Pokefinder gives us a seed. So this is going to be Thomas and Raikou, Wes and Heracross, and it should be a fairly quick process, Wes and Suicune, and it's usually about seven or eight attempts, but sometimes it can find it sooner. And once it does this, uh, you will find your seed and you can copy it to the clipboard. Okay, at this point in Co-Tool, what you're going to do is click this tab labeled ID. You're going to check this top box here, and you're going to paste your initial seed into there. These two boxes are the frame range you're willing to wait. I usually set it from 0 to 10,000. Um, 10,000 is the amount of like GBA frames, basically. You can think of it like that. Um, then you're going to check the ID box. Now, if you want a specific ID trainer ID, you type this, and then you would type in whatever trainer ID you wanted in here. And if it could find it, it would find it. Uh, for this box, this is your secret ID. Again, same thing, if you want a specific one, you could do that. You could also do these in tandem uh, if you needed to find a very specific trainer ID, secret ID combo for like renaming your uh, Pokemon or something like that. The last box is the box for PIDs. So that's what I'll be doing. So what you do is you go into the GameCube RNG section and you find the PID uh, that you want. Now, I have multiple options. I don't actually care about any of the PIDs. All I care about is making the spreads shiny. So you can just select them at random. So highlight it and then hit Control C and paste your PID there to see if we get any early frames. And we do. So uh, this is this uh, the second uh, from the left tab right here is the frame that you're going to be aiming for in Eon Timer. Um, so you're going to open up Eon Timer and make sure you're in the Gen 3 tab, set lag and pre-timer to zero, and then set your target frame to the one listed in code tool. Uh, this is eight seconds. It's actually plenty of time. Uh, it does not have to be that long of a wait. And once that's uh, all set up, we're ready to actually do the RNG. Okay, so once we've got everything set up like that, we can back out to the main menu and hit new game. I hit yes here at the same time as you start Eon Timer, and you're going to either type out your name or s pick from one of the pre-made uh, names here. 
Uh, after you type out your name, you can hit start for done and hit A here when Eon Timer finishes beeping. And at this point, we just wait for the intro cutscene to play out until uh, we can actually see our trainer ID. Um, I'm not going to bore you with the entirety of the cutscene though, because it's very long. Okay, so at this point, we are going to just check our trainer ID to see if we hit the one we wanted in Kotool. All right, so since it looks like we didn't hit the trainer ID that we wanted, uh, as you can see, I wanted 36037, um, and we hit 11197. We have to find out what frame we actually hit. So I was aiming for 496, so what you do is you uncheck this box, and if you're aiming for the secret ID, you would also uncheck that box. Then you check the trainer ID box, and you type the trainer ID that you actually received, and then hit search. So as you can see, I hit frame 494. So for our next attempt, what we have to do is make a small adjustment because we are a few frames early. Now the way this works is you just find the difference between the two uh, frames that you hit. So I was aiming for four, I believe it was 496, right? Um, so 494, obviously that's just a difference of two. So next time, since we were two frames early, we're going to add two frames to our target into Eon Timer. And uh, if you were late, let's say I hit 498, I would subtract two from my next attempt. Um, that is the only type of calibration we'll be needing to do for this section. And once the calibration is done, we just go again. Okay, at this point, we just find our initial seed again and make sure to hit reset in the GameCube seed finder and repeat the same process as previously, where you go into single battle and you click ultimate battle. Okay, West Meganium. West Swampert. West Suicune. Like I said, a very simple process, and it actually should be a fairly quick process as well. Seth Blaziken. Seth Suicune. West Raikou. Nope, and one more. West Metagross. All right, and again, copy your seed to the clipboard. So in code tool, I'm going to paste my new initial seed here, and I'm gonna uncheck the ID box, and I'm gonna recheck the PID box. So as you can see, I found nothing here, so I'm going to just check the next PID until I find a frame that I find early and acceptable enough. Okay, 2443 seems like a early enough frame for me, so I'll be aiming for that one. So what we're going to be doing is going back into Eon Timer. And if we remember from last time, uh, two, four, four, three. instead of actually doing 2443, what we're going to be doing is um, subtracting, uh, we're going to be adding two to this because we were too early last time. So I'm gonna make it 2445 and now we can actually do the RNG again. So at this point, it's just going to be a repeat of last time where we're just going to, uh, oh, <laughs> Hit new game and start Eon Timer at the same time. Uh, and I'm I'm gonna be choosing new name, but you can choose a pre-selected name and just type your name out and hit start. And when it hovers is the is blank okay, you just hit yes at the same time as Eon Timer ends. So when that happens, you can just start the uh, intro cutscene and check at the end to make sure that your uh, you got the actually proper ID. All right, as this fades out, let's make sure we hit the correct trainer ID. And we did. Um, and that's it. Uh, simple as that in terms of hitting the proper ID that you wanted. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, please leave them down below. Um, I'll be happy to help. Uh, you can also join my Discord or ask me questions on Twitter. Um, this trainer ID, because of what I aimed for, will always make this specific PID I have shiny, but that's not going to be the only shiny spread. Uh, I will have multiple different shinies. 
Um, and make sure you write both of these down, your trainer ID and your secret ID, if you intend to be aiming for shinies, because you need to know them. Um, with that said, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I just want to give a big shout out to all of my channel members and anyone who donated on my streams recently. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your support very much. And a special shout out to the two Bliss God tier members, Akroma and Super Saiyan. You guys get an even extra special thank you.